Hey Virgo, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for mid-January. I am back, sadly for you. <laughs> and uh, if you like this reading, as I always ask you, um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. And uh, if you want to support this channel, there are ways you can do that in the description box down there below as well. And I'm really grateful to have a new sponsor, which I'm really happy to have, obviously. Um, it's, a, it's a company called Keen. Um, it's a website, they've got thousands of readers on there, lots of spiritual advisors, very affordable way to get a private reading from someone. So if you're interested in that, um, you can go down in that description box down there, there's a link there. Also there's more information about that if that's something you're interested in. Um, so yeah, that's all I want to say about that. I'm going to go on with your reading for Virgo, no more. Um, right, so the first card you've got for your past is this amazing magician here, fantastic card. So you've got some amazing cards here, really good cards. Um, yeah, the only thing is you've got the Five of Pentacles in the middle, but um, and the Six of Pentacles. So with those two cards, apart from all these other good ones, with those two cards, um, there's some, it feels like you're ready to go ahead, you're ready to move ahead with a lot of things you want to do. I'm seeing that, you've got a lot of things you want to do. It's like New Year, I've got, I want to do this, I want to do that, lots and lots of things. Now, at the moment, it feels like there's a block there. It feels like there are a couple of blocks around you in different areas. I'm definitely seeing a money block with these two money cards here. So, I think there's, there's some kind of money block. It's stopping you from moving forward. At the moment, it feels like you're stuck on that. It's like, all I need is for that to be moved out of my way and I could move forward. You've got ambitions, because the magician, and you know that the Queen of uh, Wands can be about ambitions and and wanting to wanting to have that power, wanting to have that career. So there's some kind of career thing that you're waiting to do. There's a money block. That's what I'm getting. Now, and and it feels like you know it, it's the new year, and then it's nearly the middle of the new year. It's nearly the middle of January. Um, but I think for you, it, it feels like it hasn't started yet. It's like when when's my new year going to start? Everyone else is saying oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I can't quite do that because I've got I'm waiting for this block. So what this is telling you is um okay, before I say that I'm getting this coming into me right now, right. I think someone's going to be forced to turn around and, and give you this money or whatever it is. Now it might be a person, it might be an institution, it might be a work thing it might be that someone owes you some kind of compensation for something like that because it, it feels a little bit like that you know it feels a little bit like um you know some kind of institution it doesn't have to be but there's some kind of money block that's going to come in but what i'm getting here is you've got to not focus on that it is coming in it is going to take some time to come in i have to say that now i don't want to be um, negative i'm not saying that to annoy you i know you're very stressed and you're waiting to start your new year, but you're focused on that. You're like, oh, when is this one last thing going to change so that I can finally move on? So what this is telling you with this magician and this queen of wands is, go ahead with anything you want to do anyway. I know some things you want to do take money to do, but try and work around this. Try and focus on where you want to go, try and focus on planning things now, moving forward in any way you can, try and take your mind off the negativity around this block and on where you want to go, because that's how you manifest. That's how you manifest things, by looking at the positive. I know that's really irritating for someone who's stressed with a block to hear, oh, just focus on the positive. I know that's so stressful. I feel the same when I hear that, but it's absolutely true. You know, the magician is showing you that. If you focus on that, if you focus on where you want to go rather than, oh no, I'm missing out on this thing, that's where it's going to come in. And that's what happens. When your back's turned, the thing comes in. So I'm seeing that happening to you. Now again, it's, it's not happening quickly. It's happening slowly, but there are things you can do. And by, that, by the time that comes in, you'll be well prepared to use that money that comes in for you. Um, but if you don't make those steps now, you might not be prepared to get straight in when it does come in. So I hope that makes sense to someone here. It's it's going to be a force. It's going to be a force. Yes, this is what I'm getting. It might actually be a person. I don't know. It might be your old boss. 
but it's it's some person who has this public face. It might be a company. It's some public face. It's like I've got a public face. Um, I want to show myself to the world as being very nice, very good, very wonderful. Um, and if you look at that Six of Pentacles, you've got that on there. It's like, look at me, I'm giving money to people, I've got a public face, I'm such a nice person, but actually, um, they're not really like that. So yeah, I keep on getting a company, institution, some kind of thing that has a public face of, oh, I know everything, might be the government. <laughs> um, oh, I'm, I'm very wonderful, I'm so generous, I'm so kind. Um, but actually, what's happening in the background is they're not like that. But they're going to be forced to do this because if they don't lose this, they're going to lose that public face. It, it's going to come out. So to save themselves and to save that facade that they're putting on, um, they're going to have to turn around and give you what you deserve. So I hope I know that sounds a bit strange and abstract, but if if, if the right person hears that, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It, it's going to come in. But turn your back on that. Don't focus on that right now. Focus on other things, focus on planning, focus on you know, what you can do now and then look forward. So, so that's the message I'm getting now. Um, okay. Okay. Um, I'm, get, I'm getting a really nice love connection here actually. It's kind of, okay, it's, it's a very strong connection it's a very strong connection, but it's. Do you know what it's like? I'm getting. I'm, I'm, you know what? My my eyes just looking over at that two of pentacles there, and it looks like an elastic band around those two pentacles. So I'm getting this kind of elastic uh, love connection. So what I mean by that is, I know that sounds a bit crazy, but it's like it pings apart and then it comes back together again. You know when you pull elastic and then it comes back again. That's the kind of relationship I'm getting. So this is someone you've been with before. This is someone you've been backwards and forwards with before. It feels like you've got a very deep connection with them, very, very deep connection. And it's almost like you're always connected. Very strange. You're always connected, even when you're not together. You've known this person for a long time, I think. Um, I think you've connected in the past. I think what happened is, this is what I'm getting with this, if this is you, you were with this person, I'm not sure how far you are together, but you, you've, you're very, very strongly connected, very, very strongly connected. Um, and what's happened is, there's something around this, or there was someone around this when you were with them, that got in between you. Now, it feels to me like it was someone around them. And you just had to put a stop to this or it, it, it came to an end because really you felt like there was a, a third person or a third thing. It may have been a third party, it might not be, but some outside force that it feels like it was around them and it was in the way of this connection and you just couldn't be around that anymore. Um, and I'm not sure what happened, but th there was a short shock. I'm seeing a sharp shock here that happened really quickly and then you came apart. But you're still connected. I'm getting that really, really clearly for someone here. I know this is all quite um, specific here, but this is what I'm picking up on. Now with this magician here, what I'm getting is they might be pinging back to you again at some time too, and I think they will, because um, they want to manifest this with you back again. They really miss you. They want to be back with you again. Now, yeah, that they're just manifesting right now. They're just daydreaming right now. They're just thinking about this. Um, but what this is telling me is with this sequence between the magician and the queen of wands, at the moment, they're just trying to manifest, but soon they're going to come and talk to you. They're going to come and move forward. Now, before they talk to you, they're going to do other things first, I think. But at the moment, they're just dreaming. They're just thinking but they are going to take some kind of action soon. I'm seeing that very clear because they do want to be close to you. Now, I think for you, because the, the queen of wands can be about decisions. You know, should I go one side? Should I go the other side? Um, so I think there's a decision coming up for you when they come back. Yeah, there was this person or this thing or this block around them and that's what separated you. So I think what's going to happen is 
They've got to make a decision to get rid of whatever this is. You've got to make a decision to make that very clear to them that that's what they're going to have to do. And not just that, beyond that, your voice has to be heard. You have to let them know that that's what they have to do. And not just that, it's, it's I want you to know how I feel. I want you to know how this made me feel. When you have this other block and you let them override what we had. We had something amazing and you know you just didn't listen, you didn't do anything about this. Someone overrode our love connection and that's why we came apart. And I tried to tell you but you didn't listen to me. This time you have to listen. You have to listen to um, what we need to do if we're going to go forward as a couple and you have to listen to how I feel. You have to listen to how I feel and you have to hear how I feel and you have to take that on board and you have to do that this time. So I think that's what's going to happen if you do get together with this person this time. You need to let your voice be heard. I'm seeing that very strongly here and not just with this love connection, I'm seeing it in other areas as well and I'll get to that soon because I'm seeing that over there. But. Um, yeah, on an emotional level and on a spiritual level, um, you, you're very, very, very closely connected. And I think you know that, um, I think you've always known that there's an opportunity, or not an opportunity, but there's, um, there would be some time where they would come back to you again. Because again, I'm getting this elastic and they keep on coming backwards, pinging backwards and forwards. So, so that's going to happen again for you soon. But really think about what you want really think about what you need from this. Be heard this time when they come back, if you do want to go ahead with them, with this thing. Um, right, so the first card you've got for your future is this Four of Wands, so amazing card. So you've got some fantastic cards here, this is one of them. This is 1111. So I'm getting a few different things, I keep on getting blocks here that are in the way of you doing things, very, very frustrating. and and. And I think what happens is you feel as if you're moving forwards a little bit. You're t kind of taking one step forward into where you want to go in life and then you start remembering the block. It's the money block, it's the other things, it's everything that's held you back. And you start going, oh, that's not fair. It's not fair. Why am I still stuck here? Everyone else is racing ahead. The first thing is try not to, um, try not to compare yourself with anyone that's around you, especially on social media. Never, ever do that. Everyone has their own problems behind closed doors. Everyone's struggling with themselves. It's not just you. Focus on yourself, don't focus on other people. And you know, you can see here, the block is going to turn around. The gates are opening. Again, this is 11, 11. So things are starting to shift into place. You probably don't see them now, but they're happening behind the scenes. They're happening behind closed doors. Again, it's going to be slow, um, but that money is going to come into you. But try not to get into the negative mode. Try not to get into the negative mode. And I think that's what this four of wands is reminding you. This is going to happen. And, and again, you know, you've got the four of wands here with all these red roses. Next to that, on the left, you've got the magician with lots of red roses. Red roses are about manifestation. So you can see you've got two here showing you that. And also next to that on the right, if you look all the way across, you've got the nine of pentacles, money coming in for you. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yes, you are. You have got to wait. You've got more waiting happening, but it is going to happen. So, so I just have to keep on telling that to someone who doesn't quite see that. Um, okay, I've got something else here. Um, yeah, I'm seeing someone who's a lot older than you, and what I'm getting is that there's, there's a big worry around someone. It might be an elderly relative for someone here. Now. I'm seeing a lot of this happening because you know we've got lockdowns, we've got people who can't see each other, people who usually, families usually get together, they can't do that, depending on where you are in the world, obviously, it's, it's happening where I am. But th there's someone who's a lot older than you, if this is you, and, and they've got this feeling in their head of, um, am I ever going to see them again, ever? Am I ever going to see them again? When am I going to see them again? So if you know who that is, please call them, please talk to them, please put their mind at ease. I can see you're a very good, very good listener because that's what you do. Again, your voice isn't heard very often. People use you as a listener. 
Now this person isn't using you, um, but yeah, you need to be there for this person. You need to listen to them. You need to try and soothe them um, and, and just make them feel a bit better. They're, they're very anxious, they're very worried. Uh, so I think with this person, you've just got to be there for them. And I think what's, what you're going to have to do is talk to them quite a lot. I think you're going to have to call them. See if you can just call them a little a little bit every day. Just, um, you know, how are you today? Doesn't, doesn't matter what you talk about, doesn't matter. I, I think they just want to know that you're around them. They want to feel you around them because they're worried that they might not ever feel you around them again. I know that sounds horrible, but that's really what's in this person's mind, if that's you. So just call them every day doesn't have to be a lot just say hey just popping in just just checking up on you how are you today okay all right well I'll talk to you again tomorrow just just something like that and I think they'll really love that they'll really love that and that'll make them feel a lot better or give them that boost a lot of people with what's happening in the world they're really needing that connection they're really needing that boost especially older people it's quite hard for a lot of people um, so yeah, if, if that's you, just just keep on calling, just keep on contacting, and just just be there as much as you can. Right. So so with this love connection, I, I can see this here. Yeah, they're watching you. They're watching you. They're, they're waiting for the right time to contact you. Yeah, I'm getting this kind of circling around. You know what? You know when birds circle around and then they swoop down on their prey. <laughs> I'm not saying that's going to happen to you, but um, yeah. They're thinking about how they're going to contact you. They're thinking about what they're going to do. So I think what's going to happen is, you know, if you look at this five of pentacles, you've got these poor people here and they're circling around the church. They're walking around and around the church and they're doing that um, because they want to find a way in and, and they want to be in the warmth. They want to be in the light. And you represent that to this person. You represent the warmth and the light and they miss that. They miss being around you. Uh, and they want that but at the moment they're walking around and they're thinking how am I going to talk to them how can I get away in because they know that last time there was that person in between you or that block in between you um, that force that stopped you from being together and they know that that's upset you so they've got that on their head as well so okay this is what I'm getting I think what's going to happen is they're going to pop up around you. So what I mean, but not like a jack in the box. <laughs> what I mean is, say if you're on social media, it's something like this. Say if you're on social media and you see them pop up in a comment to someone else and you're like, oh, okay, I haven't seen them for a while. It's, it's that kind of thing. And then you see them popping up again somewhere else or they start liking one of your friends thing. Then you go, oh, okay. And then they're in your mind or if you're not on social media, it might be that someone tells you about them. So if that happens to you, and it happens in small ways, it's going to start to happen in tiny little ways. And you're going to start to see this happening. Very, very tiny. And, and I think if you think that's a coincidence, if you think, oh, that's a coincidence, I haven't seen them for a while. What I want to tell you is it's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. They're doing this to test the waters and I know that sounds a bit creepy I know it does but it's not it, it's not you know you've got the ace of cups down there pure love so they do have love for you and it's very pure they're not being creepy they're not calculating they're not doing anything like that but what they're doing is that they're worried really really worried that you know last time they didn't listen last time they just didn't do what you asked them they let this person come between you or whatever this was and they're really, really worried. So they're just trying to kind of slowly pop up to see how you react. So the first thing is kind of popping up around you somewhere. The next thing is they might like something of yours, or if you haven't got social media, you might see them around you somewhere, in some way. So very slowly coming closer. So that's what I'm feeling happening for you. And, um, yeah, they've got pure intentions again with this ace of cups here so i think what i'm getting here is with, with this ace of cups again is you know they do want to let go of their past they do want to start afresh they do want to do that and i think they are willing to do that um but i think again you've got to make sure that they're listening to you again you've got to make sure of that i, I think you've got to get proof of that i think you've got to get um 
lots of more assurity than you did last time um, to make sure that you are getting what you want. And, and it's not just on a practical level, because this is the ace of cups down here. This is on, a, on an, an emotional level. So you've got to say to them, look, I want you to listen, not just to what I'm saying, but how I'm feeling. How does this make me feel? Last time you let this person come between us, it really, really hurt me. And I want you to know how I feel. I don't want that to happen again. I want you to really, really be there for me now. You need to be my partner. If someone else comes between us, you can't just say, oh, I don't think that happened. I didn't hear that. I didn't see, that. oh, it's just nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't listen to them. No, you need to listen to me. You need to stand up for me. You need to be there for me this time. So I know I've said a similar thing before, so I'm not going to say that again, but it keeps on popping up again and again and again. But yeah, they have got to listen to what you have to say. Now, this could be a very, very strong, a very, very, very strong connection. It already is. This, you know, at the moment, it's a strong connection in uh, the emotional world and the spiritual world. It could be a strong connection in the practical world. It could turn to marriage if that's something you want, because the four of wands can be about that. Uh, it may or may not be what you want, but it could head toward that very, very strong, um, solid um, territory, if that makes sense. Um, but they have to listen to you. And it's not just them having to listen to you. It's you making sure that people listen to you. And not just them. On all different areas of your life, you have to now be the one who speaks up. You can't let people walk over you anymore if that's you. You've got to be the one that says, right, it's my time now. This is what I want. Listen to me, please. So I hope that makes sense to someone. All right. So right. So the first card you've got for your futures, um, this nine of pentacles here. Yeah. So a very independent card. And it's interesting because this, this image was coming into my mind of circling birds. And, and you've got this falcon here that this woman's holding. And falcons always come back. They circle around their prey, they get their prey and they bring it back to their owners. So yeah, again, they are always coming back to you. And, and so I think you had this feeling, again, you knew they were always going to come back. Um, but I think for you, if, when they come back, I, I think they're going to realise how different you are. Because you've changed a lot since they're around you last time. You've grown, you've really grown, you're a lot stronger. Um, you've been through life basically, you've been through life's hardships and you've learnt from that and you've had to grow up. So I think the way that they remember you and the way you are now, it's, it's, it's very, very different. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of passion here. So when they come back, I think they're going to want a lot of passion with you. But the warning here is um, to maybe try and put some passion aside for a while until you really make sure that they're listening to you for one, make sure you, that you really know them properly. Because what I'm getting is I think you've spent a lot of time apart um, and you haven't actually spent a lot of time in that day-to-day -to -day life uh, getting together, spending time together on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's when you really get to know someone. Uh, and I know right now, again, a lot of people aren't able to do that. So that's even more reason for you to just take your time, hold back, make sure they're doing what you're asking them to do, make sure they're listening to you and really put all that into place before you start making a decision around what you want to do. Now, I know that sounds negative. I know that's saying, oh, just watch out, something bad's gonna happen. I don't think it is, but um, what I want is for you to not be taken away by that passion. A lot of people don't see passion in the Two of Pentacles, but I do, because you know there's lots of red, and uh, yeah, you can see his hat, so I'm not saying any more about that. But yeah, there is passion there. And you've got to be careful that that doesn't get in the way of, you know, really, really making sure everything's set up properly this time, making sure they're really taking what you have to say on board, make sure they're really, really uh, not around whatever this problem was last time. It, it's going to take time for that to happen. And also, if you look at this Nine of Pentacles, if you look right um, in front of her feet there, there's a little tiny snail. So that's showing you the same thing again. Um, but yeah, 
If you look at that two of cups, you can see you've already got that very, very strong connection. So when you meet again, it's not going to take you that long to um, really start getting along again. You'll start to get along quite quickly. They're going to have to get to know a new you. They're going to have to get to know you, a new you, but it, it's still going to feel very, you know, it's like, oh, I've always known them. That's my familiar face. I remember them. So yeah, they've got some adjusting to do and you have as well. And that's why I'm asking you to really take your time with this when they come back. Now, I think you're probably going to start to see um, them popping up somewhere in a tiny little way. So it might just be they like some of your friends pictures on social media or something or tiny 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 little things I think you'll start to see that coming up probably within the next four weeks or just at the end of the four weeks or around that time so that's the kind of time I'm seeing that for you so just watch out for that that's when this is all going to start if this is all resonating with you um Right, so there's a little message here, just a little specific thing I'm seeing for someone here before I finish, because I'm nearly at the end. If you've got someone that's not talking to you right now, um, and if you haven't had any argument or anything like that happen, you've just had someone that stopped talking to you, I'm not seeing ghosting, this isn't a love connection. It might be a friend, might be a relative, I think it might be a friend. Um, if they've stopped talking to you, I... Okay, a couple of things around this. The first thing I want to tell you is it's not you, it's them. Not that there's something wrong with them, not that there's a problem, but I'm seeing a lot of anxiety around them. I'm seeing that, I'm seeing them go through, going through a hard time, maybe mentally, um, and they really can't face people at the moment. So that's what I'm seeing around this particular person. So I just want to say that to ease your mind, if that's you, so that you don't think you've done anything wrong, you haven't. Um, the other thing I want to say is, if you call them, if you try and contact them, I would advise right now not to do that. Uh, they might ignore you or they might uh, not reply to you in the way that you'd like. Not because, again, not because you've done anything wrong where they don't like you, but just because they can't. It's, I'm getting this feeling of I can't really be around anyone right now. I really can't. I need to be by myself. I can't. So that's how they're feeling. So just let this go. Just stand back from this eventually they'll come around to you again and again that's going to take time but I just want someone to know that it's not them it's not them there's anxiety around this person so I hope that helps someone I hope that makes you feel a bit better if that's you um, so Virgo um, I hope this resonated I feel like this was a little bit muddled this reading so I hope it wasn't too crazy um, but yeah it's a general reading um, it's not going to resonate with everyone obviously but thank you so much for watching